What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we're back with brand new WWE action figure images for you guys. If you guys did not know and were unaware, you know, we, we discussed it. I may still make a video on it because it, it seems even more apparent now, which we'll get into as we discuss this video. But it seems like the figures have just been arriving and arriving and arriving. It's just been a figure after figure after figure after figure. And it just does not seem to stop. If you guys did not know, I have reviewed, in the last two months, I have reviewed 54 different new AEW and WWE action figures from Mattel and Jazzwares. That's just to give you kind of a scope as to how many figures we have been getting from WWE and Mattel and then Jazzwares and AEW. That's just a little idea of it. But today, we have even more brand new figures. We have WWE Elite Series 97. You guys know that we just reviewed WWE Elite Series 96 and we just reviewed the Greatest Hits Wave. Well, now we have WWE Elite Series 97 and I don't know about you guys. Like, I'm all for new figures. I always love new figures, of course. This is, you know, we, we love it. Like, that's what we love. It's it's amazing to get new figures and all that. But when does it become a little bit too much, you know? And, and that's kind of what my video is probably going to be about when we finally cover all of that. But as the old saying goes, let's dive into it, man. Let's dive into WWE Elite Series 97 and break down these images. As you guys know, we got in-shot or in-package images of our guys right here. I'm going to bring up a mock image and I'm going to bring up a loose image so we kind of discuss the stuff here. We have WWE Elite Series 97. Starting out first, guys, let's get into Xavier Woods in the white gear, and then we also have the Chase variant version. I love this, man. I really, really do. I think that this figure looks fantastic. Now, I will say, I don't know who or what took the photos of the mock images, but it seems like these are very early images. The, you know, this isn't like a, a super high-def camera. It doesn't seem like, at least. It kind of seems like, you know, it, I don't know. I don't know what the deal is with these images, but they're not as clear as you would probably think. But we do have King Woods here, or Xavier Woods, and I like both versions. I think I like the white version better. You guys just know that I like the, the white gears fresh in my opinion. The maroon is a nice touch. I like that we get two different woods here and I love the new formula they're giving him. I think it looks really great. I think the head sculpt looks great and everything like that. So I'm all aboard with the King Woods figure. I really, really like it. I like both versions. I think that uh, I'm going to try to get both versions, but I'm glad that the white version is the regular version because that's the one that I want more. So that's pretty cool there. We also have a look at WWE Elite Series 97 Alexa Bliss, as you guys know, and we do have our our doll with 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 our Alexa Bliss figure. So you guys can tell it looks like the leg mold's the same. You got like the kind of jack thighs on the Alexa Bliss. Really cool gear though. I like the black and the light blue. I think it looks really good. You got the face paint. It is the Ultimate Edition head sculpt. But if you guys know anything about Ultimate, uh, not Ultimate Editions, if you guys know anything about Alexa Bliss figure specifically Elites and even her Ultimate, they feel really good in hand. They actually pose around really really well. So I'm actually excited to get this figure just because I know it's going to move around well and it's probably going to end up doing well. In the ranking because of that and so this will look really good uh you know you do get some reuse here but i think this is a solid figure we haven't seen her in a, in the elite line since elite series 82 and then we did have the two-in-one ultimate edition and her figures do seem to do pretty well i know that her ultimate was on clearance and stuff but i think that wasn't really her fault or anything like that. I think that was just kind of the timing of that figure. It really wasn't because the figure sucked or whatever. So this uh, Alexa Bliss is pretty solid. Not a whole lot going on with it, but uh, I think that the Ultimate Edition is probably better, but I do like this figure. I like the gear. Pretty nice stuff going on with Alexa Bliss here. I also like how she's packaged mock. I think that's a pretty nice image right there, so that's pretty good. Next up, we also have Ronda Rousey. Now, I don't know how how is this going to play out. You know, we have two different women's figures in Elite Series 97. How is that going to play out? I guess we will have to see, but Ronda Rousey is in Elite Series 97. You guys know that I love the Ultimate Edition Ronda Rousey figure, and you guys know that this figure looks like it's pretty much the Ultimate Edition base. It looks like they're using the exact Ultimate Edition base. It does look like they're using a newly sculpted upper torso. And you guys will notice that her belly button does not seem to be sculpted on there. They actually sculpted over the belly button, which is a huge step for women's figures. Usually they always have the belly button in there, but she does have that stuck in the pose jacket. So you guys already know how we feel about that. So that, that's pretty garbage. And the head sculpt's pretty plain Jane. I honestly think that figure is going to go to clearance very, very fast. But I, I, I mean, the gear's not the best. It's kind of plain Jane, but I love the Ultimate Edition and it looks like those are Ultimate Edition boots. It looks like she's going to have all the articulation. So I will take this jacket, throw it in a fire, and then I'm going to have her without the jacket on. That looks to be the Ultimate Edition head sculpt. It's basically an elite 
you know, quote unquote elite version of the Ultimate Edition. It should have pinless double jointed arms. It's probably going to be a fantastic figure. I wonder how that will compare to the Ultimate Edition Ronda. Will it be better than the Ultimate Edition Ronda? I don't know. I guess it may be, you know, gear preference, but with the pinless joints and all that, I don't know. We'll have to see, but that Ultimate Edition Ronda is one of my favorite women's figures ever. Maybe the best ever. I don't know. You know, that I need to probably do a top 10 one day or something like that, breaking down my favorite women's figures from WWE and Mattel, but this is a, it's not the most exciting release. I think it's probably going to shelf warm, unfortunately. The Elite 65 was god-awful, but uh, this figure is, high, is much better than that. This figure is head and shoulders above that figure, but a lot of people may not know that, and they, they won't be able to recognize that on the pegs, and I think that's why this figure is probably going to shelf warm really, really hard. Now, moving on, we also have a look at Omos. Now, apparently, this is the biggest Elite figure they've ever made. It is a quality looking figure. I think it looks really good. I'm hoping that the arms do not get loose. I feel like when they have those great big torsos and big shoulders like that with the, or not big shoulders, but the big torso, like upper torso mold, you plug in those shoulders into there and they're kind of smaller. I feel like the pegs don't really fill up the fill up the torso the way they should and you get a really loose arm deal going in there. I don't know if anybody else feels that way, but the legs look really articulated. It looks like it's going to be a nice figure. I hope those shoes can like hold up and he's He's not like leaning forward and falling flat on his face. I hope that, you know, this figure's quality. Bigger figures seem to be better as far as, like, articulation and feel in the hands, so that's what I'm excited about here. Do not like Omos, but this figure's pretty sweet, man. I really do like it. I like the double-jointed arms. Great head sculpt, same as the basic, it looks like. Raw tag title, don't really care for that. I also heard we're getting new tag team championships, at least I, I do believe that is the case, but this Omos figure looks pretty damn good, and I think it's going to be one of the better figures of the year, depending how it feels in hand and how it comes with the rest of the set. You know, we'll have to see about that, but Omos looking pretty good right here. Next in the set is Chainsaw Charlie. Now, for whatever reason, I thought that he was the, you know, the collector's edition in this way, but apparently he is a part of the main line. Like, he is just in the regular line. You guys can see on the back of the packaging. Chainsaw Charlie, Sheamus, Omos, King Woods, Ronda Rousey, and Alexa Bliss. Apparently, Chainsaw Charlie is a part of the actual wave. He's not the collector's edition like they typically like to do, so that is pretty interesting to say the least. And I like the Chainsaw Charlie a lot. I think that you could really add to it if they had some dry brushing on these pants or, you know, maybe the belt was painted and the belt buckle was painted. I think you could add a lot there. And I think it would have added a lot if they did the pantyhose cloth over the head sculpt instead of doing, like, the sculpted deal over it. Because it just looks weird, doesn't it? It just looks a bit weird. It's like this fleshy toned face. And it just looks odd. But I do like all the new sculpts you got going on here. It looks like they went with kind of like an Elite 63 Dean Ambrose tour so they went with some newly sculpted arms the double jointed arms with the sleeves rolled up that is a nice touch i like the chainsaw and you know you get some good stuff going on here i just don't know how i feel about that uh pantyhose head sculpt so that'll be something that we need to take a look at but the last figure in the set is going to be elite series 97 sheamus love the jacket love the mass accessories it's kind of an updated Elite 84 Sheamus, which was a really, really great figure. The Elite 84 Sheamus is probably the best standalone Sheamus they've ever made, and it seems like they get better and better, because what can you do with this Sheamus? You can add all the accessories for that kind of, like, you know, more modern Sheamus, or you can remove the hat, you can remove the face mask, you can remove the... The, the robe or the entrance jacket, and then what can you do? You have a you have a perfectly good regular Sheamus wrestler, right? And I think that is what sells this thing. It looks like it's going to be the same formula they always use for Sheamus, double-jointed, pinless arms, and it's going to be magical because uh, Sheamus figures are always fantastic. I think the formula they use for him is fantastic, so I like this Sheamus a lot. Pretty plain Jane, but when a, when a figure can replicate a guy perfectly, I mean, what else can you ask for? You know, I know that some figures are super plain Jane, but when a figure can just fully encapsulate what the person looks like and they can translate from real life into action figure form and you don't have a lot of like miscues I think that is beautiful and I think that is what we have right here with this Sheamus figure but that is Elite Series 97 now another thing that is also happening right now is that the top picks 2023 wave 2 is coming to ringside collectibles it's actually in stock if you guys want to go over there and grab these you can do so if you guys did not know what that is we are getting a repaint for Roman Reigns he's gonna have it's basically the ultimate edition but in elite form and it's actually probably better than the ultimate edition when you consider the articulation, but you get the same head of the table shirt. You actually get the red gauntlet over the gold gauntlet. You have Seth Rollins in this wave, which is just a just tiny repaint to the Elite 93, which I'm not a big fan of. Uh, kind of plain Jane. There's so many different colorful gears they could have went with, and they went
went with this like I mean this is the elite 93 Seth Rollins with just barely changed deco kind of plain kind of black to be honest with you already have two of the elite 93 Getting this in here is just going to be, you know, another one there. I almost have wall-to-wall -wall Seth Rollins. It, you guys know I have the one long shelf that runs from one side of the wall, or one wall all the way across the wall. I am almost wall-to-wall -wall with the Seth Rollins. This is going to be the last one right there. And it's not going to completely get there, but it's, you know, I, I did move some of them and stuff, so that is there. But the, the gem in this set, just the chef's kiss, is the Rey Mysterio. This is the best looking Rey Mysterio figure that I've ever seen. It really is clean. I love the Macho Man gear, the pink and yellow. It's almost MDT, you know, kind of inspired there. You, you part switch some stuff around. This is going to be an epic one. It already is epic. It's beautiful. I think this is probably going to be in my top 10 figures of the year. I just love the way it looks. You go with those beautiful colors. You go with those things like that. It is hard to be. So I am really excited for the Rey Mysterio. Really excited for the rest of the wave as well. But let me know your thoughts down below, guys, on WWE Elite Series 97, as well as the Top Picks wave and what you guys like, what you don't like. Do you guys think these are great? Do you think they're somewhere in between? Are they going to hold up, man? We're going to have to find out together. But had to get on here, react to the WWE Elite Series 97 with these new images, what they look like in package and all that. But leave me your thoughts down in the comment section below, man. Before we get out of here, let's get into a random shout-out. I'm actually quite hungry. I'm about to go eat some food of some sort. But And today's shout-out is going to go to my man, William House, who says, All of these greatest hits will be straight-up re-releases for the most part. Hence the term greatest hits. Changing things makes them new figures. Think of music. Greatest hits are the old good songs. If they release new versions of the song with new lyrics, it would be... Or it wouldn't be the greatest hit. Like, yeah, I get that for sure. Yeah, the, for sure get... But the, the, the music's a little bit different than action figures, though. You know what I mean? I feel like you'd sell more units... And, you know, people are going to buy the greatest hits because it's all of the best in one instead of, you know, uh, trying to repurpose a figure. But I still like to comment, and I wanted to give the shout-out to William House here. So a huge shout-out to William House for the comment because, yeah, you do have a point there, Brad. But uh, I think that in the realm of action figures, I think that, you know, changing them up slightly would have been a better way to sell more units, I guess. But in terms of music, you are correct. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok on my name. Toys, have a blessed one. I'm going to go get some McDonald's because I'm craving breakfast right now. You crossed the line. I've been